So today's topic is types of magnetron. Before we have seen the magnetron. Magnetron. It is your uh, one type of M-type tubes. It is also under the category of your cross-field tubes. If you have seen the magnetron here, you will have the electric field and magnetic field. They are perpendicular to one another. On the other hand, if you are going for the four type tubes, their electric field and magnetic field are parallel to one another. Okay. So if you are seeing the magnetron, magnetron is come under your M type tubes. In M type tubes, you are having resonant type. In resonant type, you are having standing type, and in standing type, you are having reentrant type. So in the reentrant type, you are having the magnetron. We have also seen the cross section of magnetron. If you are going for magnetron, we can consider the magnetron as a diode. In magnetron, you are having cathode, you are having anode, you are having the electric. If we are comparing the magnetron with your reflex piston oscillator, reflex piston. That is also your oscillator, and here your magnetron is also your oscillator. So your reflex piston oscillator is your low power oscillator. That is your low power, and this is your high power. And see, suppose if we are considering the efficiency, the efficiency of your reflex piston, it will be theoretically it will be 22.7, and if we are considering the practically it will be around 10 to 20 percent. On the other hand, if you are going for the magnetron here, your efficiency will be 40 to 70 percent. So you are having more efficiency here, and here you have the more output power. So because the, because these two advantages we are having, we can go for your magnetron oscillator. Okay. Next, say suppose if we are going for the types of magnetron. So these are some of the types of your magnetron oscillator. Your uh, cylindrical magnetron, coaxial magnetron, voltage stimulator magnetron, inverted magnetron, negative resistance, uh, cyclotron frequency, uh, cyclotron frequency magnetron, trapping wave magnetron, frequency energy magnetron. These are some of the types of your magnetron. So we don't have to go in detail with all this. Just we should know about the magnetron. Okay. You see the effects of electric and magnetic field in your magnetron. Let us assume that initially the magnetic field was zero. Initially the magnetic field was zero. And this is a section of your magnetron. Magnetron actually you will look uh, something like this. Uh, it will be cylindrical you say and you are having uh, many more cavities from any one of the cavities, you can take the output. You can take the output uh, from any one of the cavities. And for taking the output, uh, we can go for wave guide or we can go for coaxial cable. So we can use either coaxial cable or wave guide for taking the output. Okay. Now here, this is the electron path in magnetron without oscillation. Without oscillation means initially there is no magnetic field okay and when there is no magnetic field say this is the cathode and this is the anode the electron is moving from cathode to anode and it is following the path x there is no magnetic field the electron is moving from cathode to anode and it is following the path x means straight what is this here? From cathode to anode it is going. Now, we are increasing the magnetic field. Let us assume that you are having the weak magnetic field. When we are introducing the weak magnetic field, then the path will be this one. This Y will be the path of electron. So, if we are seeing the path Y, there is little bit deviation from the path X. So when we have increased the magnetic field or when you are having the weak magnetic field during that time, the electron will follow the path 
y now if we are increasing the magnetic field further then the electron that is emitted from cathode it will move towards anode it will follow the path z from cathode it will go to the anode and say suppose if we are increasing the magnetic field further the electron will pass the electron will follow the path z from cathode it will move towards anode and it will return back okay so the point where the electron move from your cathode to anode and return to your cathode that is called your cut off field that is your cut off field so what we are doing we are increasing the magnetic field okay so the if the electron is is following the path z we will say that that is the uh, whatever the field whatever the magnetic field will be there that magnetic field will be the cut off field now if we are increasing the magnetic field further then what will happen whatever the electron is there as it is emitted from cathode it will not able to reach the anode if it will only it will return back the electron that is emitted at cathode it is not moving towards anode in between only it is returning back as the electron which has started from cathode it is unable to reach the anode here there will be no flow of current there will be no flow of current there will be no flow as the electron that is emitted from the cathode it is returning back to cathode only it is not able to reach to the anode okay so whenever we are going for designing the magnetron we should know that what is the cut off field of that magnetron so we have to work uh, we have to work on the magnetron so that it should be within that range it should not be above the cut off field if it is a cut off field it is a flow is okay performance characteristics of your magnetron these are some of the data that you get but your frequency range frequency range is uh, from 500 megahertz to 12 uh, gigahertz duty cycle duty cycle is uh, 0.1% efficiency is a uh, in case of your uh, reflex piston oscillator frequency range frequency time during which the signal is on time is on by total period of signal total period means uh, it will include your on and off it will include uh, applications of the magnetron the different applications are we can use the magnetron in case of your radar transmitter for industrial heating for uh, microwave oven and in case of the pulse radar also we can use your magnetron so these are some of the applications